It's your boy Heaven Hollywood back on IE Network, and this is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor, in case you didn't know, check them out at icydk.blog for all the backstories and celebrity news, past, present, and future. So, let's start it off with Misty Elliott, and she was getting attacked by Bad Bunny fans. And also, uh, the fans of this um, reggaeton duo called Joel and Randy. Now, this happened over the about the Bad Bunny song, Safara. Now, the Bad Bunny hit Safara, which features a veteran reggaeton duo, Joel and Randy, snakes through half a dozen samples and references, including the famed beat from Missy Elliott's 2001 hit Get Your Freak On. Now, last week, Joel from the group Joel and Randy ignited a Twitter storm by sharing details about the royalty splits on the track, claiming that Missy got most of the money while he, Bad Bunny, and Randy only got 1%. Now, Missy is correcting the record and saying that she gets 25% of the royalty from Safara. Now, Uh, During a now viral interview with the Puerto Rican personality Molusco, Joel shared that the artist never properly cleared Get Your Freak On sample. According to him, when Missy found out about the track, she threatened to sue and ask for millions. He said Bad Bunny's label head Noah Assad, shout out to Noah, worked out a deal that left her with nearly all the money generated by the song and him, Bad Bunny, and Randy with a single percentage point each. That Cabrona was the one that got everything, he said in the interview through laughter. The clip worked its way through the social media and drew instant backlash with people coming to Missy's defense and lambasting Joe for calling her a Cabrona, which means a swine. However, Missy also ended up getting attacked by Bad Bunny's fans who felt the split Joel described was unfair. Now, on Thursday, Missy finally speaks. You know, Missy don't really do social media. On Thursday, Missy finally decided to step in and clarify the situation. She specifically called out Joel for misrepresentation, what the actual song splits look like. And uh, writing to him on Twitter, she said, sadly, you misled all these people to make them think I have 99%. Now, I don't talk business online because that's messy, but now we are here. I have 25% and there are six other samples and 15 other writers on this one song. They got a percentage also. Now, <laughs> Joel was, was gaslighting in the uh, in Twitter before Missy responded saying, F that, let them enjoy their money. It's not you and me enjoying it, right? Let them be happy and talk about something else. Missy don't even care. Why would you? So after Missy responded, Joel responded, Missy, something got lost in translation because I never said you took 99%. That's impossible. There are a whole bunch of other people in here. I'm cool with my 1%. Excuse me. Nothing but love from Puerto Rico to you. We are both in business. Let's chill and enjoy what we have. Peace. And then Missy came back and said, I'm glad that you now mentioned that there are many other samples and writers on this track that got their percentage that you had named. We both in the music business and know how we must clear someone else's work. That was a shot at him, like, you know, you should have cleared it. (laughs) You know, it's not the first time Safara has faced sampling issues. Last October, Bad Bunny and the collaborators on the song got hit with a lawsuit accusing him of infringing the copyright of a Florida-based group, AOM Music Inc., which does business at BM Records. The lawsuit specifically cited alleged unauthorized incorporation of several songs. Um, Now, at the end of the day, Joel came back and and said, oh, much respect. You know, we should do something from scratch together. We've always admired you. My people down in PR love how you reply my tweets. All love, miss. (laughs) Now, sorry, Joe. (laughs) You kind of messed that up. You know, Missy Elliott does not like you know, drama. 
And for her to be called a swine and then attacked by these fans, and you should have seen some of the things these fans were saying to this legend, this iconic figure. And that's just this new generation. They make me so mad and, and frustrated. But um, they were calling Missy all sorts of names. And she explained what had happened. And, you know, hopefully it's all good. Shout out to Missy Elliott. And let's see who we got moving on to Slim Danger. And if you don't know who that is, that is Chief Keats' baby mother. Slim Danger has said on, she put on her Insta story yesterday that she had been smashing little baby and she was smashing little baby even before he became famous. Now she put on there that she smashed little baby last week. Now, could that possibly be one of the things that Jada Waiter found out about? You know, I'll tell you some tea that I heard. I heard that little baby, we don't know how true this is. We'll have to find out. I heard the little baby, there's going to be some sort of announcement that he got somebody pregnant or somebody's going to claim that he got them pregnant. I don't know how true that is, but this is what... Uh, Slim Danger said. Um, basically, she said when she went live yesterday, somebody asked about little baby. She said that they effed last weekend and that he been she been effing on him before he even got major famous. She was dipping off on him during his come up. Um, basically, anytime he comes to Louisiana, they eff. And ironically, Jada was one of the people that viewed her story. The same Jada that said she don't care, she's done. She was right in there viewing this girl's story. It's right there on the screenshot for everyone to see. <laughs> so, hey man, is it true? I mean, Slim Danger, she's like a a, a bootleg Selena Powell, and um, she has done a, she has done porn so. She's a sleeve bucket, and every time these guys be like, oh, no, I wouldn't touch her, these same rappers be trying to get at her because they know she's a freak, and they know she's nasty, and she'll do just about anything. So let me know in the comments what y'all think of that. Slim Danger says she smashed little Baby. Do you believe it? And Jada Waiter was right there watching the video, so, you know, watching her Instagram live. Let me know. Down in the comments, what you think? If there is a video that you want to hear uh, specifically, let me know, and I'll try to accommodate you. We can work something out where you know, over a certain amount of time, you know, I'll have the, I promise to have the video for you, you know, during a certain time frame or what have you, because I have a lot of requests. But let me know down in the comments what you would like to see, if anything. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the I Network. Please enjoy your day.